Hello everyone, now let's talk about insecure direct object reference vulnerability. So this vulnerability also referred as IDOB. So before going further, let me give you one example that there are 5 objects or 5 files and there is one another file called as demo. So we can access all that 5 objects if our request contains reference of that demo file and if we want to try to access that 5 object without the reference of the demo file, we are not able to access that objects. Now what happened is in insecure direct object reference, the user supplied input is used to access a particular object and if the user adds something malicious so that it can point to something different object and so which means a user tries to access a particular object which he is not authorized to access to. So if the user is successfully able to access that object which means that web application is insecure direct object reference vulnerable. So here is one HTTP request you can see here and this request is accepting one parameter called as page and here is the page name source viewer.php. So this is this is our reference page. And here you can see the another argument or the another parameter called as PHP file and the PHP file which we are trying to access is called as userpol.php. So we can try this userpol.php if we are making a HTTP request with the reference of this file sourceviewer.php. Now let's see how insecure direct object reference works. Now let's see that how direct object reference works then we will be able to exploit insecure direct object reference vulnerability. So in order to test that vulnerability and to see that how it works, we have to start our OS broken web application and we have to open Mutely Day. And here you can see the OS Mutely Day link. Let me open this up. Okay. So let's go here OS 2013 and here you will found the insecure direct object reference. So let's open the second challenge that is source viewer. Now let's have a look at the functionality of this page that what it's doing. So to see the source of the file choose and click a view file. So if I if we just go here, you can see that there are a lot of PHP files here. So if we want to look at the source code of any of them, just select any of the file and click on view file. And here at the bottom you can see the source code of this file. Now let's try to analyze this request through Bob Suite and let's see that how this request is going on. So I'm starting my Bob Suite here and let me also configure my proxy settings on my browser. So manual proxy configuration, it's a localhost IP and the port is 8080. Let me click on OK. Let me go back, just go here and start Bob. So let's select any file in order to read its source code. Click on view file and you will see that Burp Suite will start blinking. Let's go here to the proxy tab and here is the full request which is going through our browser. So it's a post request and you can see that the request is going to this link. So here is the page sourceviewer.php. It's the page where we are right in. You can see here. Now let's go back. So here is the HTTP header, it's a host information, user agent, then content length, then refrar and at the bottom here you will find the interesting information which give us an idea of how direct object reference works. So if we just look at here, at the first here it is written page 
and the value of the page is source viewer dot php which is this one and then it's an additional parameter php file which you can see here and the php file name is the file name which we want to see here you can see that we have selected user poll dot php and here it is that present so which means this page source viewer dot php this one is actually acting as a reference or a refrer in order to view the content of this page means if we want to look at the page source of any of these files then we can only able to look at the page source if our reference is given by this file source viewer this file if this file is given as a reference then we can able to look at the source code of these files now let me just click on forward and let's see that whether we are able to see the source code and here you can see that here is the source code of the file now as I told you earlier that what is insecure direct object reference so which means there are some files which are not be authorized to view by some another person means we are not authorized to have a look at the source code of that files so what we can do in order to test that whether this application is vulnerable to insecure direct object reference we can try to view the page source of different pages which are not listed here you can see the list but the index.php page is not here so now let's try to look at the page source of index.php and let's see that whether we are able to view the source code of index.php and if we are able to view the page source which means this link or this web page is insecure direct object reference vulnerable so let me click on view profile again view file and you can see my bobs would start blinking and here is that request again now instead of upload file.php let's try to write index.php and let's see what happen click on forward forward again let me go back here and here you can see that we are successfully able to view the page source of index.php file so we are not authorized to view the page source but still we can able to view the page source due to insecure object reference so now let's try to view the page source of this page itself where we are right in so right now we are on this page source viewer.php which actually letting us to view the page source of different file so why not we find the page source of this file itself now let's try to do so let's go here so let me just write in the php file parameter source viewer.php and if I just click on forward if I just go back and here you can see the file is source viewer.php and we can able to look at the page source of this page itself so this was how the insecure direct object reference works so in this video we have covered that what is insecure direct object reference and how we can exploit that thanks for watching this video